Hey guys, welcome to Tactical Brush. Um, today we're going to go over some uh, brush basics, uh, how to use your Photoshop brushes, like the real basic stuff. We're going to be covering the, uh, the round brush, pretty much. Um, and uh, the first thing you're going to need to know is that uh, F5 brings up your brush presets menu. And this is a really fast way to, you know, get down there. You can get all tactical with it. You know, you can actually go in there and change all your your stuff without actually having to go in and bring up the uh, brush menu right here, F5. And the second hotkeys you're going to need to know are the brackets. The brackets increase and decrease the size of your brush right here. And uh, like the space, the space bar lets you grab onto your canvas and kind of like spin it around. And and if you have one of the newer versions of Photoshop, like you know four or five, CS four or five, if you hit R, you can actually rotate your canvas, which is really good because it's like you know rotating the paper. And back in the day, you know when you actually rotated your canvas, it actually kind of misaligned your pixels a little bit, and you know things got kind of messed up and a little more blurry. So, you know these are the little nice no shortcuts. You know you absolutely use them all the time. So memorize those. Um, um, let's say you want to start painting. All right, uh, you'll notice that you know Photoshop has these default brushes right here, and you know I, I for the most part I think they kind of suck. You know, like I, I mean, I'm never going to use any of these brushes, um, but I mean you know the round brush is pretty much you know it's basic. You can do anything you want with the round brush right here. I mean you'll notice that um, you know even if you, if you change how hard you're pressing, you're not really shading at all. You're just kind of, you know, drawing in here. And, um, you know, and it's, it's like a hard, hard brush. You'll notice they have soft brushes right here. I mean, I pretty much do everything. You, know, you can do everything with this hard brush right here. Um, so the first things uh, we're going to talk about are the brush tip shape. Now, there's, you'll notice you know, forget about these. These only matter if you have a you know irregular shape on your brush right now. We're gonna cover those later. But uh, right now you have this hardness slider. Now, you know this will make it like a softer brush. You know, and you're gonna have like this soft brush right here. Um, and and the spacing, you can make a dotted brush if you wanted to as well. Um, you're wondering why would you want like more of a more spaced out lines. Well, when you are actually working with, um, you know, like larger files, having something, a huge brush at like, you know, 1% spacing is really going to slow down your processor. It's going to be really slow. Sometimes you're going to want to space it out. Sometimes, you know, with a soft brush, you can't really tell the difference. But, you know, with a hard brush, you can definitely tell. You know, you're going to start to see these bump, bumpy lines right here. Um, and the uh, second thing is shape dynamics. Here, let's move this back here. You know, this is like actually kind of important if you're, you know, if you want to ink something. If you want to ink, you know, ink drawings, and you want that, you know, sharp line, you can kind of get like pretty sharp lines with um, this, and you can actually adjust how much of a difference it makes. You know, if you don't want it to vary that much, you actually change the minimum diameter right here. These don't really, you know, do much if you have a round brush. So, and let's try um, transferring. You know, this is something I'd use for shading. Um, you know, you would want to set your opacity on pen pressure. This, and now you can actually start shading stuff in. You know, you can take this, you can start shading, shading it. And you'll notice, you know, it's it's a hard brush, but you're gonna get these hard edges. You, when you're actually painting in real life, you're gonna you're gonna be looking at like what things are, you know, hard edges and what things are soft edges. You know, I mean, everything has a hard line and a soft line, and say you're painting a face or something, you know, you're going to have, like, hard creases, like, you know, and then you can just kind of shade them out like this. A little bit of a fall off right there. Um, so that's that, um, and you know, pretty much, you're you're gonna be able to do everything you want with just this, with these tools right here. I mean, like, you know, let's say you wanted to, you know, draw like a soda can or something like that. You know, you can really kind of get in there and 
get that hard edge in. I mean, because the soda can is like a hard surface. You know, and I'm just doing this real rough. And, uh, you know, maybe you want a soft edge on the other side. So you can take your brush and go back to, uh, you know, brush tip shape, drop that, you know, softness, hardness all the way down, you know, and you can kind of increase your brush size and go in with the soft brush. Get a little brighter on there. A little bit of a rim light on there. Yeah, you can start to see like a, like the shape coming out a little bit. Whatever. I mean, but you guys get the point. Yeah, explore it. And uh, that's it. We'll go over uh, more advanced brushes. You know, you can do so much with, you know, just brushes in Photoshop. I mean, you can even turn this into a brush, the soda can into a brush if you wanted to. Um, uh, I'll show you one other cool thing um, that you can do with the brush. I mean, like, you can do color dynamics with it, and we can set it on... Um, Hue jitter, it's on pen, pen pressure. You can kind of make like a crazy rainbow snake brush, <laughs> something like that. There you go. You know, just fun stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, I'll see you next time.